Have you ever wished that you could somehow visit that magical place that you always thought was impossible to find? You know, that fairy tale place in a distant land that only seems to exist in books? Well, let me tell you, that place does actually exist, and we found it in Bavaria, Germany. We spent seven incredible days in Bavaria, Germany, and called this small picture-perfect village of Kroon home for our adventure, while exploring all the amazing things surrounding it during our stay. If you want to see one of the most perfect places to visit on the planet, then jump on board and take in the sights and explore one week in Bavaria. This was already quite a holiday as our European adventure began in Normandy, followed by four incredible days in Nice to watch the Tour de France. If you haven't had a chance to see those videos, you can check them out here. Alicia and I were pretty sad to leave Nice, as we simply loved the vibe that exists in this amazing city. But we were also very excited to take part in our new adventure in Bavaria, Germany. We were off to Kroon, which is located just north of the town of Mittenwald, nestled in amongst the mountains that surround the German-Austrian border. We flew Austrian air, and it was a pretty hectic travel day, going from three separate flights before we managed to touch down in Innsbruck but the company did a bang up job getting us from one plane to the next without any delay. It was busy, but worth it, especially when flying into Innsbruck and laying eyes on the mountains for the first time. Just look at this view. I could have stayed up in that plane for a bit longer just taking in the scenery of the Alps that surround the city. I suddenly wasn't missing Nice anymore. We were so excited to be joined on this adventure with our wonderful German family of Rainer and Regina, and the adventure began right from the airport after our luggage failed to make the flight to Innsbruck. But that and the crappy weather wasn't going to set us back. Kroon, Germany is located about 45 minutes north of Innsbruck, and right away, my head was on a swivel in the backseat of the car taking in the sights of the mountains. This was going to be an amazing trip. The moment we drove into the village, I was speechless and seeing the perfection of the town. The homes were so pristine with amazing flowers and gardens, and the artwork murals on the homes that showcased the Bavarian history from the region. It was hard to comprehend just how movie set perfect everything was. We settled into our accommodations, and as you can see, as always, we struck gold in finding just an amazing house for our stay. It had everything that we needed, especially the spectacular view that we would have the privilege of seeing for the next week. We were pretty gassed from the day's travel, so our adventure was going to start the next morning, but we had to be sure to cap off our first night in Bavaria with a nice cold Bavarian beer. Day two in Kroon was simply exploring the town, getting a lay of the land and venturing out on one of the many nature trails that exist in the area. The Kronzbach is a river that flows throughout the region and it was such a pleasure to slow things down, taking in the sights and sounds that surround us on our hike. The weather was much hotter than we anticipated, but we were able to cool down by soaking our feet in the cold water. Brace yourself, this water is arctic cold, but super refreshing. This area that includes Mittenwald, Kroon, and Walgau is an adventure's paradise. If you love anything that brings you out into nature, then this is an area of the world that you simply have to visit and explore. Kroon itself is not a very big village with a population of just under 2,000 people, yet it seems so much bigger as Kroon is linked with the other neighboring towns of Mittenwald to the south and Garmisch Parkenkirchen to the west. This area is just flooded with year-round recreational sports, including skiing in the winter, hiking, cycling, and kayaking throughout the summer months. And of course, after all this outdoor activity, you have to remember you're also in Bavaria, which is home to some of the best beer in the world. The highlight of this trip for me was our day trip to Austria where we were surrounded all day by the natural beauty of the Alpine Mountains in Elgam. This area of the country is home to one of the largest nature reserves known as Ahornboden. The journey to get here was approximately 45 minutes from Kroon, but of course you have to be sure to slide into Oswaldhut. 
It's a beer garden that's nestled in amongst the looming mountains, and it's just a nice way to break up the drive and enjoy the rustic setting while also enjoying a delicious local beverage. Nothing beats sitting down in a German pub in the middle of nowhere. Once we got closer to Engalm, you could see we were about to step inside a natural playground. Lining the entrance of the only road in and out of this magical location are more than 2,000 sycamore maple trees that date back centuries. Once inside the park, you'll be lost in paradise, with the endless view of the landscape that surrounds the valley. There are endless trails that will take you up any of the mountains that engulf the terrain, or you can simply spend your day wandering in the fields, in and amongst the barns and the shops, that add a subtle element of civilization. Where else can you wander around aimlessly and suddenly be walking in and amongst what seem like an endless line of cows grazing in the grass beside you? If you're in this area of Bavaria, be sure to put Ahor Boden on your list of day trips. Getting here by bike or by car are the best and most convenient options. However, there are buses that make several trips a day to the park from June to October, and I'll leave the link in the comments section below. This was truly an amazing experience visiting this natural gem hidden in the heart of the Austrian Alps. The next part of this adventure, we ventured into the lovely and most popular town in the region, and that is Mittenwald, which is located just on the German-Austrian border. This town is most famous for its colorfully decorated homes, along with its violin making history. Mittenwald has one of the most incredible churches I've ever seen right in the heart of the town. It was such a lovely church from the outside, but if you get a chance to step inside, you will be in awe at the frescoes and really just the sheer size of it. There are several shops and cafes and restaurants that will suit anyone's taste, and again, just wandering through the streets, you can see how picture perfect this town is, and the draw here is definitely for anyone who is a seeker of being in the outdoors. From Kroon and the other neighboring towns, buses run regularly throughout the day, so getting a bus pass during your visit here is best. Be sure to slide into Mittenwald when you're in this part of Bavaria. Alicia and I ventured back into Mittenwald the following day, and that was to make our way to one of several hiking trails that leave the town to every mountain range that is nearby. One of the most popular hikes in this region is that of Die Leutersheer Gleisterklamm. I hope I said that right. Now getting here from the train station and bus drop off will take you about 20 minutes on foot, but look at it as a warm up for those legs to begin the hike into the mountains that follow. The draw to this hike in particular is the metal pathway that hugs the walls of the narrow gorge. You can enter the trail from two separate sections and the main attraction here is the elevated bridge that crosses over the gorge. If you have a fear of heights, this may not be the trail that you want to venture on as the bridge is pretty high, but the views are simply spectacular once you're up here. The other interesting portion of this trail is that the German and Austrian border crosses over a portion of the trail. There's a couple benches in the area along with the border crossing signs, so you can have a laugh bouncing back and forth going from one country to the next if the hike itself doesn't entertain your senses enough. Be sure to check out Lodershir Gleisterklamm when you're in Mittenwald. The scenery will leave you speechless on this trek and your legs will also feel the burn on some of the pitches to get around, so be prepared. Now our last adventure on this trip was to hike another trail, once again just west of Mittenwald, located at Leuter Sea Lake, which is in Obernbayern. You can get to this hiking destination by bus from Mittenwald, and the trails here simply circle the lake and extend in various directions, including the neighboring lake of Furchenbach. Just like all the other places you will visit in the area of Bavaria, the scenery is amazing. The area is just so peaceful and tranquil and I find that you get lost in the moment and you just simply embrace the natural beauty that is simply oh, unavoidable sky. while you're here. Ago, Our trip to Kroon was simply fantastic. I wasn't sure what we were in for when we made the plans to come to this part of Germany, but man was I in shock at what we had the pleasure of seeing for the week that we were here. Kroon and Mittenwald have to be on any outdoor adventurer's list of must-sees, and a return trip for an extended period of time is definitely in the cards. Special thanks to Regina and Rainer for putting up with us for the week and guiding us through this amazing region of Bavaria. 
Thanks for watching everyone. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Happy travels, everybody.